We're just out here drinking Pepsi. Aren't we, Amos? Have a baby, they said. It'll be fun, they said. A baby? What kind of diapers are you going to use? I don't know. Baby dries or swaddlers? What about formula? Oh, I'm only going to use breast milk. Hi, Laura. I mean, these children are clerically, is that the right? Clinically, clerically. I don't even know proper grammar anymore. They're insane. They're insane. Or I'm insane. Who is insane? I have no idea. Breast milk. I used to worry about breast milk milk. But Thomas, oh, I didn't let him have a sip of formula. I even put breast milk in his rice cereal. With Amos, I was stuffing that mess in him so he'd sleep. Formula. Hello, Melissa. I mean, the weather's nice. That's good. How come when you have children, it's all about a baby? Why doesn't anybody tell you that they get big and gross? And they wear size nine men's shoes. There's no more cute shoes. Mm -mm. Now, Amos, where is he? He's somewhere back there. Amos wears nice stuff. Mm -hmm. That's because he's five and a half and has autism. So he has very little opinion of what he wears. So he has on smocked pigs today. But that's ending soon because he just ruins stuff anyway. A baby shower? had to pick out the stroller you wanted and a pack and play and a high chair and a car seat. I could not breastfeed and I beat myself over over it. Who cares about breastfeeding? It's like, is that Amos? Did he escape? You're in the Cayman Islands. I wish I was in the Cayman Islands. You know, there's all this pressure to do all these things right and eventually your kids are just sitting at home like my kids, drinking Pepsi. Amos, what are you doing? Ow, just hit my knee. So, kids are terrible. <laughs> That's why, Krista's blog is why am I yelling? <laughs> so she knows better than anybody. And I mean, I had my friend Elizabeth's kids over here. I'm not a very good, like, surrogate parent, not because, where are you going? You gonna say hi? Say hi. Amos. Amos, say hi. Say hi. Amos Wood. None of them have good manners. Mm -mm. Anyway, I had her kids over here and I made the mistake of trying to be nice. You can't be nice to people's children because Oh, hell. You just spilled all that stuff. Yuck. Dirty cigarette water. Um, <coughs> if you're mean, they listen. If you're not mean, they don't listen. So these kids, I was like, we're going to go to the playground. Or I said, we could go to the playground. They were like, no, we don't want to go to the playground. Well, I should have been like, we are going to the effing playground. And that's what we're going to do. But I didn't do that. I did not do that, and I should have. I gave them a snack, they had ice cream, and then they were outside playing, and then they were back on iPads. They tricked me, just like my own children do. They'll be playing, and then suddenly they're just, pew, they're gone. And I was like, well, where are they? And they're eating snacks, playing on iPads again. I mean, I'll be damned. I have not done a supporter video yet today, Melissa. Today I was working on my ads. So I don't have any ads, which I've sort of say I'm proud of because you know, I don't want to bother y'all. But the truth is I don't have any ads because I can't figure out how in the hell to do ads. It is the most convoluted mess. Oh my gosh, forget it. If there's money to be made in ads, I will never see it because I can't figure out how to do it. And I can't find anybody to do it for me. And then evidently, if you pay somebody to do it, you're just paying them all the, that you make. Yeah. Well, why the hell can you do it? 
Amos. Amos what? Thank you. Thank you for what? What are you doing? Ah, that's my Pepsi. There you have it. Pepsi. Pepsi. They're sitting around it's drinking Pepsi. Nary. It's what? Nary. N it's Nary. Anyway, don't do ads. Well, don't worry. I can't do ads anyway. And then I wrote a story because my friend Blair said she'll do it for free. Well, good, Blair. Move down here or up here, wherever I live. Um, I can't figure it out. And then I wrote this story about the college scenario. Now, see, this is why I can't have topic videos because I get off topic. Amos, don't drink all the Pepsi. Um, so, you know, the Lori Laughlin, is that her name? The woman that paid the $500,000 and had her daughter pose in a, I guess not a rowboat. What kind of boat is it when you're on the rowing team? <laughs> sort of like a kayak canoe looking thing. Clearly, we don't have that in Eastern North Carolina. Well, that daughter <coughs> was in the Bahamas on spring break with her friend. Now her friend was a legitimate student at the University of Southern California. <gasps> Pick it up. Or was she? Her parents donated 25 million, the crew team, thank you. Hi Lisa, 25 million skull. It's a skull, a crew boat, a skull crew boat, scoo crawl. Both daughters, yes, both daughters, but one is an Instagram star who clearly is making money off ads more than me. Why does she even need to go to college? And that daughter is on this 219-foot yacht, the biggest one on the West Coast. His name is Invictus. Such a powerful, Greeky Latin kind of name. And he is the chair of the board of the University of Southern California. And he states that he is horrified this has happened. That's the back door getting mad at the side door. The back door are the people that give a lot of money. The side door are the people that only want to give like $5 million. And then the front door people are the people that get in legitimately. But let's be honest, there's a lot of SAT prep and all sorts of, you know, tutoring that helps people. But, I mean, we can't worry about that. That's just the way the world works, right? He's horrified. Horrified. So horrified that his daughter and her friends have to come off Invictus and get the hell back to California. Hmm. It's a good thing they don't cuss in front of their children. Like me. Um, so I wrote about that. We need help in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Oh, and he's being, well, send me a message, Penny. Lord, y'all, and people in Martinsburg, West Virginia, Martinsburg, West Virginia is exhausting. Amos, are you dancing? Amos manages to play outside with technology. That's really called successful parent transitioning. Um, I'm glad you like my blogs from Berkeley County. I think other people are like, have voodoo dolls hanging in their yard of me in Berkeley County. So that makes me happy. Um, and then I wrote the story about coastal prep in Wilmington. Now, if you're not familiar with Coastal Prep, it's a charter school. Yes, he is tall. And Coastal Prep, the director is Jamie Getz. Now, Jamie Getz does not respond to any of my emails or messages, so I have to write about her. Jamie Getz came up with this idea that she was going to start a school, a charter school, because you can never be a principal of a charter school or of a school unless you had a degree in education, maybe a master's in school administration. But if it's a charter school, Anybody can do it. So what they did at Coastal Prep, now I'm accused of making this up. Why would I make things up? I have plenty of like crap to write about. She makes 80,000 a year. So Getz, what she did was she dreamed up this charter school, which she has in her bio on their website that says, this is my dream come true. I'm the founding director of the blah, blah, blah. Well, then they hired this wonderful head of school. Delightful. A woman that has never made a comment, doesn't want to talk, nothing. 
They fire her on day three. Day three. Day three. She had moved here, gotten a job, and they used her as a carrot, a carrot for the donkey parents. Not that I'm calling the parents donkeys. But they said to the parents, hey, look, we've got this wonderful head of school, doctor so-and-so. She's wonderful, and she was wonderful, and is wonderful, and now she's an assistant principal at another school in Wilmington. So they convinced these parents, like, this is really going to be a wonderful school. They get her out of there, and then guess who's the interim? Jamie gets. Does Jamie have a degree in education? Does she have a degree in... Uh, school administration? Nope. Does she have any experience as an educator? No. How do you think that's working out for Jamie? Not good. So this year alone, they have had three, <laughs> three board meetings canceled. So whenever anything happens, they cancel the board meeting. So I try to generally do post around when they're supposed to have a board meeting so that they'll cancel it. Now, the board are people, Chris Millis, he was a rep, and he resigned because he said he needed more time with his family. But now he's like the head of the board for this. Seems a teeny bit suspicious to me. So anyway, he's, does she have any kind of degree at all? I think she was like a crisis counselor. Let's just, let's have a pause for a minute. Adrian has a master's in early intervention. I could have had a BK teaching certificate, but I never, I never filled out the paperwork. I know. I have a degree in child development, a PhD in ed research and policy, a minor in curriculum instruction. Am I gonna be a principal? No, no I'm not because I'm not qualified. Okay, to be qualified to be a principal, you have got to have experience, have training, have knowledge, have experience, particularly regarding exceptional children and IEPs. I mean, charter schools aren't like private schools. Private schools don't have to serve kids with special needs, but I tell you what, charter schools do. Um, so if a teacher says, hey, I have a child that needs a referral, you better do it. That ain't what happens around there. Anyway, so I talked about that for a while. And then what else did I talk about? Amos, what else did we talk about? Oh, oh, I mainly worked on getting those ads set up, and I couldn't do it. And then I signed up for something called, like, Upworthy, Up something, where you try to hire somebody to do something for you. I want somebody to do Facebook instant articles for me. It looks like it'd be easy once it's set up. Oh, and then I set up. And Amazon asked me to be an influencer, so I set up that. What the hell am I going to do with that? I'm supposed to, like, put things that I like on there? Ugh. I can't do anything like that. Oh, Diana Keel. I have not written about Diana today, but I have been thinking about her a lot. Um, I think I'll write something tonight about her. I have not heard if the husband was arrested. I hadn't checked. My internet was not working for some reason. Um, but now it is. Um, so anyway, I need a virtual assistant. Well, I have Mary, who's now driving somebody to soccer. So I have her. But I don't have, um, yes, I need more people. Anyway, heard from Greg Sanders. No, I did find a very interesting article Greg Sanders wrote, though. He was real annoyed that um, Red for Ed wasn't including charter school teachers which we all know they're great teachers at charter schools. And I've heard this Glow Charter School in Wilmington is great. It's for girls. That's the thing. There can be great ones. But holy cow, if somebody takes advantage of all the uh, loose rules, you're in trouble. You know, it's like in high school. So you have a good child and a bad one. Now, I was a bad one. So if my parents left for the weekend... What did I do? I had a party. I found somebody to buy beer. I smoked camel lights. I had people spending the night. I mean, I had more fun and people over and lying. So, 
Now, my friend Missy, if her parents went out of town, did she do things like that? Nope. We went over there, probably ate something, stayed up late, ate some popcorn, watched a movie. So she, Missy, was the good charter school. Adrian is the bad charter school. Now, the deal with the public school is public school is more like military school. There's no flexibility. You either teach this stuff and you get graded on it or you're out. Now, I will say the charter school, Coastal Prep, got a D last year. Now, in their new application for Pender County, we need to get people warned in Pender County. They said they're never going to get below a B. I don't know how no anybody says that. One, they have a D like 10 minutes away. And two, if they get Ds for two more years, they're out. Or if they fall below, I think, 65 students. So anyway, I had a mom reach out to me today that was like, I pulled my child out. So anyway, if you're going to choose a charter school, you need to reach out to parents who have left the charter school and talk to them and find out, are they crazy or are they legit? I mean, I would. You know, it's like if you go to a restaurant, you're not just looking at the restaurant's website, you're looking at the, re the reviews. That's happened to my computer. I've had my feet on it. Um, so anyway. Friends with a Board of Ed member will warn him. I called y'all superintendent in Pender County, but he didn't call me back. I tell you what, you better, Pender County really needs to buck up and get ready for this charter school. And fight, try to keep families and say, no, we wanna do the best for your children. Don't go to the charter school. Don't, don't do it. Keep your money in the public school. Make the public school better, do something. Oh, anyway, Amos, oh. You just dump yucky, yucky water on your pants. Cigarette water is disgusting. Why'd you do that? Because, because you, is it on your knee? Are you okay? Are you going to play with your cars? Say hi. Tell them what that is. What's that? White phone. What's that? No, not the white phone. What is, what is that? Maggot. maggot. A maggot. There you have it, folks. Learning about maggots. <laughs> um, so anyway, we got off from having a baby. That was just the forefront of my frontal lobe. Tonight, we have nothing to do. Do you know how excited I am about that? I'm really excited. I'm still in my pajamas with a fleece on. It's like 90 out here. And I didn't accomplish anything. So that's it. Nothing. I got nothing. My supporters, reach out. When are we going to do a video? We need to talk. Ooh, ooh, we do have a big secret that I hadn't told y'all yet about our next gathering. Ooh, it's going to be fun. Um, anyway. Carry on, people. Love to see more of y'all over on my supporter page. Super duper fun. Just like this. Get dressed before Thomas gets home. Yeah, see, this is why I love my supporters. They help me. Remind me of things like this. <laughs> oh, shit. And don't forget, I'm getting ready to start that Optivia business. Maybe that's Thomas right now. I have to get off the phone when he gets home so I can pretend I'm working. Goodbye.